Of it must be brilliant. It is so much fun. <laughs> I can't tell. I'm loving it. And this year has been fantastic. Has. They're all so good. I, I mean, know. they've surprised us with their ability. Mm, very Even much. Even the so. novices are almost as good as their professional partners now. Indeed, that's very true. Because sometimes you think, wow, yes. you know, what th that's incredible what they do. It really mm -hmm. is amazing. Keep I love pros. to see somebody like Kate Silverton, I love watching. She was because great. Because she came from really a standing star, yeah. and she'd be happy to admit that, yeah. and just went, Doo -doo, Yeah, and just took to it. It's amazing. But you've got to imagine ballroom dancing. It is a very different discipline. You know, you sure. never saw the Pussycat Dolls doing a Viennese waltz, for example. No, you did not. It's a different, <laughs> and it, dim it, you know, it, 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 it demands a different set of skills, really. She, I mean, she trains. As hard, if not harder, than mm. anyone else. She's in the studio 12 hours a day. They all are I mean, training in incredible hours. I mean, this week with the two dancers, I don't know how they're getting on. No sleep. They I won't think be basically sleeping. Tess, they won't be sleeping at all. They I won't know. be sleeping at all. Yeah. No, you're looking lovely and sparkly. Thank you. A little bit festive Which today. is fantastic. Very glitterball. I love it. <laughs> but also, very importantly, the socks are yes. sparkly. Yes, I have my Christmas socks on today. For a very important reason. Yes, I am helping TK Maxx yep. launch their Christmas sock day which is today, and it's a campaign where all, um, all funds are going towards Cancer Research That's UK. Cool. We're raising money for them. Um, and we're asking people at home to support it by taking a socksy of themselves, which <laughs> is a selfie of you and your socks. And your socks, absolutely. And uploading it onto social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and they will donate one pound for any hashtag socksy. Make sure we get the right hashtag. Yes, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll do a pound intense. to cancer research, which is wonderful That's because great. I think all of us know someone who's been affected by cancer. We do. You know, it's a terrible disease. We we need to do the research, we need to beat it. No, that's absolutely true. I mean, we were just talking earlier about Helen, one of our team is going through uh, breast cancer just now. And, and earlier on, she showed what, what chemotherapy is actually like when you're a mum and how, and it was it was incredible to see that, to get that insight. Mm. And as you said, we've all, I mean, you've lost people, yes. you know people who've gone through absolutely. that. Absolutely. And we all need to do our bit. We do. And that's a really we easy do. easy way to do it, isn't it? And it's fun and all the family yeah. can get involved. You know, exactly. we've all got a pair of Christmas socks oh, in the drawer. Of course, and if we haven't, few, we'll get one. the Christmas tradition, isn't it? I know, it, it is very socks, much so. The jumpers. <laughs> now, you're obviously working, doing Strictly. You, yes. And I love the fact that it's two... You know, I know people talked about this before, but two women doing a big Saturday night show, the biggest Saturday night show, it's fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. Brilliant and for you us. two we have such a great time. Together. Really get on well. She's my girl, Claude. We get on so well. She is very, very good. Yeah, and she's a Christmas, good girl. What, what's Christmas for you? What's, is it just sort of Christmas, sitting too much? And... It's all about, yeah, mince pies, <laughs> <laughs> turkey, all the tr trimmings. I mean, I just love Christmas. It's my favourite time of the year. All the family together. You've got a break. You know, you've got no de other demands on your time apart from being with the family, putting your feet up, watching the telly. Cooking the turkey. I like to do the Christmas buffet. Do you? That's, I do. Oh, with all the leftovers in the evening. Right. Just and a little idea. dessert buffet as well. I'd rather Excellent. enjoy that. So people can just go and pick. Just pick. Hard Nibble goes well, I think, for you this time of year because it's when you remember somebody who's very, very important in your life, which is Bruce mm. Forsyth. Yes. I can't believe it's going to be the second Christmas I'm, he's not here. I know. I miss him so much. I bet you do because, I mean, you were with... Because you've been in Strictly since the very start. Yes, we were Your together. Kids have, have got, in fact, were you not pregnant? With I your, was pregnant with series your, one in 2004 with my first child, geez. Phoebe, who's now 14 years old and taller than me, just That's about. That's incredible. Yeah, and so, yeah, I was with Bruce for 10 years. We worked together. And actually coming back into this building today brought back so many memories because we used to film Strictly in this building together, at the BBC, television yeah, centre, yeah. yeah. And uh, we had such a love... I walked past his old dressing room oh. where he used to be and I felt a little bit tearful because he was... Bruce was a very special part of my life and an yeah. incredible person, so generous and so lovely with his time and full of fun. Just wanted to <laughs> laugh, you know, the greatest sense of humour, always looking for the gag in every sentence yeah. and just enjoyed life and enjoyed show business so much and had the most incredible career. Yeah. He's in the Guinness Book of Records for the, the longest career in the entertainment industry in this country. I, I mean, I know no one amazing, else like him. To have shared that time with him was a privilege.